Hello there, this is Dan DeLuca, and today I'm going to do a training and a little uh, tour, I guess, of how to use Aweber with multiple lists and multiple funnels from the Funnelizer in My Lead System Pro. So uh, you'll get to see a little bit about how the Funnelizer works and what you can do with it with My Lead System Pro. And you're also going to see how I use the Aweber lists to separate out the different prospects that come into my funnels. So there's a couple things you're going to need if you want to do this. Uh, you're going to need an Aweber account and you're going to need a account with My Lead System Pro, uh, a mastery account. If you don't have that yet, don't worry. I'll tell you later how you can get that and use these features. And um, I just want to let you know that the uh, the Aweber is a separate subscription from My Lead System Pro, one. And number two, what you're going to see in My Lead System Pro as far as the Funnelizer is just a very small slice of what's available with My Lead System Pro. But this is a very, and, and this is a very powerful um, platform to use. So here we go. So I am going to, so what you're looking at is um, some of my funnels. There's a, I have 10 funnels built uh, in Funnelizer, but we're going to start with the, um, we're going to start with Aweber. So um, what you do with Aweber is you need at least two, I'm going to see if I can move this over. Nah. Yeah, two lists. And um, basically, so you can see I have webinar attendees. This is personal people that I know, MLSP members. These are some other people, Millionaire Mind people. And this is my newsletter list. And then I have Periscope training and a few more. So I have a number of lists already. If you don't have, uh, if you only have one list and um, you want to separate out your prospects based on what their interest is, then you, I, what I did was I made a couple lists. Now, there's an advanced way to do this with Aweber's campaigns. I'm not going to, I'm just going to touch on that in this one, in this, but I'm going to get you set up with at two lists, two funnels. Okay, so I have a funnel for MLSP mastery members and kind of random people that come into My Lead System Pro. I'm going to move this here. And, um, and then I have another one for people that come in. Let's uh, say, well, I'll just show you my Twitter. Uh, I have people that come in from Twitter. Okay, so I want to send two different sets of messages to them because they're interested in two different things. And I want to make sure that my messaging is congruent with what they're interested in, at least as far as I know. Now, a lot of times, well, pretty much all the time, really, I do invite people to get onto my newsletter. And when they go to my newsletter and subscribe to it, they be, they're unsubscribed from these other lists and there's an automation that you can set up in Aweber on how to do that. And by the way, just about everything I'm showing you about Aweber, there are tutorials, videos and help to get you going with that. So you really want to use the help with Aweber. There's also a chat feature that they have so you can um, uh, interactively work with an Aweber help person if uh, you're having trouble. I'm back. I had to take a little pause to sneeze. All right, we're back and you were looking at my funnelizer, main funnelizer page. And so you can see I have a number of funnels here. So here is how you make your funnelizer, you integrate it with your Aweber with the specific list that you want to uh, have your leads go to. So, um, this funnelizer, it has, uh, I have three variations. You can see only two are running. It doesn't matter. You, you do this with every variation. And uh, so we'll edit the page. And then let's see where this, I'm going to move me over here. And you're going to go to the, um, 
your opt-in form. So now if you don't have Funnelizer, if you're just looking at this, um, this page took about 15 minutes to set up, including shooting the video that's right here that we're not going to watch right now. But we can go to, we can we have various sections that we can turn on and off, like this section's off, uh, this section is on, uh, and then you can edit this stuff. So we're going to go to the form. And uh, you can see over here, edit integrations. So you go to your integrations and you can see I have two out of five enabled. So there's uh, My Lead System Pro and actually there's a uh, label that I have in there in, in the CRM of My Lead System Pro called New Prospect. And so I've attached that integrated that this is the my lead system pro crm and then in aweber i have this list mlsp members at 10k a month now okay so that is actually this list here let's see what we okay basic information and so this is the list and i know it says 10k a month over there but that's what it is now and it's basically this code number is your unique list ID so I've got my funnel integrated with my Aweber now I'm just gonna show you add new integration here you can have up to five different integrations so uh, the two that I've enabled in here and you have to do that in the settings over here before you start your funnel um, so I have two options here is Aweber and my lead system pro so I'm gonna hit Aweber again and you'll see now integration point and the integration point brings up all my various lists so I would just select the list and I'm, I'm not going to do it right now I would select it and then well I will just to show you something there it is again a uh, Aweber I've already got it and then you want to click add new integration if you don't do that it won't um, it won't work and I've done that a couple times I just hit close without hitting this it doesn't add it in so I'm not gonna add that in right now because I've actually got it and that is how you direct your leads from your funnel to a specific list in Aweber and how you can then send messaging based on that funnel because you know it's this is my mastery funnel it's going to my MLSP members list that's people that are interested in my lead system pro they're interested in the mastery program and they've watched they're gonna watch a video that uh, the the 20 this goes to the 20 minute um, video that, uh, that that talks about my lead system pro so that is how to do to connect your funnelizer and integrate it to a, go to a specific list now I said I would talk briefly about the campaigns in Aweber and again there are um, instructional videos and help on campaigns the way to the, the basic idea of a campaign is that say I have I so I have this this list right and it's for MLSP members now there's my funnel funnelizer is pulling people into this list if I want to bring them in from some other source but they're interested in mastery say I want to send them to a different capture page but it's still about mastery so I want the same messaging to go out then I can set up a campaign so you go to let's pick a list let's pick this list MLSP members and I'm gonna go to messages in Aweber and I'm gonna go to campaigns and you're gonna see I have some campaigns going here that I'm testing so basically I have a mastery funnel intro and this funnel uh, let's hit it okay so it's triggered you tell it when to trigger 
And so this is where um, I'm not go, going to go into a lot of detail here. If you really want to know um, and you can't figure it out from the instructions from AWeber, send me a direct message in uh, or a private message in Facebook or send me an email from my contact page and I will work with you a little bit. But I am I am not a, a pro here. I'm uh, I'm just learning this myself but this is the deal you trigger it so I trigger it when the source is API which is basically coming in from the funnelizer and um, I send them an email uh, with this link and then um, I put a tag on it intro completed is my tag you can make up whatever tag you want you can you can run and you can have multiple tags and then I wait one day before the next action so here's the deal I um, so once that tag is applied, I have a this mastery funnel, and this mastery funnel is triggered when there's a tag applied, and the tag is intro completed. So after this, there's another sequence of emails. Okay, it's a an autoresponder sequence. The deal is though that I have. Uh, this is kind of a generic sequence after they've seen my initial email. So I have an email for people that come into mastery from that funnel. I have a, another intro, a brief intro, for people that come in to my Wednesday webinar link. Okay, so that's a different link that um, just introduces them to uh, what they're going to see on the Wednesday webinar and a little bit about me, but there's nothing about that video on the mastery. So um, it's triggered when the ad says this. Now these this keyword, this code here, ad tracking, you have to go look at your contacts, your subscribers, and you will see if you look dig into the detail of a subscriber, which I'm not going to do here, you will see this ad tracking and you will see a code and it is somewhat unique so whenever someone subscribes to my Wednesday webinar link this code comes through Aweber picks it up and triggers this campaign and we I send them this initial message which is different than the initial message for someone that wanted to look at the video for my lead system pro and then I wait one day and then I hit this tag which is intro completed and then once that tag is triggered it will basically trigger them into this funnel which everybody goes into or this sequence I should say everybody goes into this where it's kind of my generic autoresponder about attraction marketing and fire your boss and the things that we have but I can tailor my initial message or two or three I could you know I could put seven messages in there that took them through a sequence and then put just dump them into this autoresponder sequence which is kind of a my intention is to continue to add valuable emails to this as I write them but in the meantime you know this is what I've got so far so um, the idea again behind a campaign is that you have um, an entry point that may be different depending on how people come into your system eventually you want to get everybody on the same list because you don't want to I mean now the the brute force way is for every list to have your a, a, a set of autoresponder messages and they could be the same one there's your Twitter list there's your mastery list there might be people that come in through your Wednesday webinar and you want to talk to them about something else you might be promoting a product and you might want to have a, a sequence that really works up on a on an affiliate product that's the idea so that's it I'm running out of time is 15 minutes I hope you enjoyed this contact me at dandeluca.com slash contact you can send me an email and ask me for more information or more videos, and I will see you at the top.